What's going on, everybody? Uh, if you have one of these soap pumps, foundation pump, whatever you want to call it, this is a, a Zoller sump pump. I'll put the actual model name. Uh, you have to find the model name down next to the cap right there. Uh, it still works, but the switch will not turn off. And I already replaced the switch one time under the top lid. I'll put a video link you know, to the previous video where I did that. And yeah, I don't know what, what's going on with it, but these things are just too expensive to try and replace the entire thing. So there is a hack you can do, and I'll show you what the device looks like. All right, some of these things are called piggyback switches. There's a, a float switch inside of this housing. And if you hear that, Okay, now what you do, now you, I'll, I'll, I'll install it in just a few minutes, but basically what it will do, it'll be in the off position here, and then as the water fills up in that cavity, once it gets to a certain point that you can set however you want, actually, as far as where you want to strap the, uh, the, you know, the wire, once it hits that, it will turn on the pump. Water will go down, 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 down and then turn itself off. So it's uh, very simple actually and pretty ingenious. And um, I'll put a link down below where you can get this sort of device. Uh, it's very easy to install. You know, you just basically plug it in to your wall outlet or however you're getting power to your pump. And then here is your actual pump plug and that will go into there. Okay, so it basically is a switch that will not turn on your pump until it reaches the level that you want it to be at, you know, as, a, as the water comes up inside there. Very simple, very basic. You can just use some zip ties and just attach it to an area inside the hole. And uh, yeah, it's extremely simple. So we'll do that real quick. All right, now what you're gonna do, you gotta remove the lid of you know, wherever your sump is located. And notice, you know, the, the little device floats, obviously. Uh, but the first thing we need to do is, you know, remove whatever, if there's a plug or a cap right there, remove that. Then feed the plug from your little aftermarket switch. You know, feed it underneath there and out from here. Okay, then we'll find, you know, your, your one, 110 outlet where you're going to plug that in. It's important when you when you purchase this little device, make sure you get the correct length of cable that you need because there will be different options. You know, you may need a 6 foot, 10 foot, 20 foot. You know, so measure how far it is from your pump to the plug in and uh, make sure you purchase that length that you need. Okay? Now, basically, so you need to attach the cord to the pump itself, you know, like this, this PVC tube that comes up and out and goes outside the foundation. You can use a zip tie or something, you know, to attach it to that. Cause, and then what's going to happen is as this cavity fills up with water, this is going to start rising up and up and up and up. And then finally, it will turn on. So you may need to adjust it depending, you know, on your needs, or you may want to uh, take you some water and fill this up. If it's not already, fill it up so that way you can go ahead and set it now, and then you can put your cover back on and not have to come back in here. Uh, or you may need to get a water hose and, you know, and fill this up a good bit more. So you can set it to come on where you want it to as far as how much water is in the chamber. So really... That's all there is to it. I mean, it's very, very simple. So in order to, uh, you know, set this properly, you're going to have to test it out while it's open. So go ahead and plug in the pump. You know, this is the actual pump cord to the, the new little piggyback switch cord. Okay. All right. And then it's, if I were to lift up that, new uh, aftermarket switch, the pump should come on. A little 
tight in here, so excuse me. Okay, watch what happens. As if the water were coming up and up and up. There it goes. And you know, that's not all the way down, but wherever it goes, where the water goes down, uh, you know, that'll, you can set it and then just attach the cord however you need to. You may need to tighten the zip ties specifically. So you might have to experiment with it a couple times and, uh, you know, and then it should work fine. The key is the, the device needs to be able to float up uh, a significant amount so it's not coming on too frequently, if you know what I'm saying. Okay, so it might take a couple of times, you know, for it to set it exactly where you want it. But seriously, that's all there is to it. Then just put the lid back on and, uh, you know, wait for uh, more rain to come. You know, it's, it's really a simple device that's ingenious. So uh, make sure you check out our channel. We got all kinds of stuff on there that may help you uh, relating to working on the house. Working on your car, your dirt bike, your ATV, your scooter, all kinds of stuff. So uh, check it out. And if our video helped you, make sure you click the thanks button that's underneath the video screen. Same with any monetized YouTube channel. If, uh, if their video helps you or entertains you or you know does you a favor or whatever, make sure you click thanks underneath and shoot them a donation. We all appreciate it very much. And look for our social media links and eBay store links underneath the screen and the, in the description. And um, that's it. Y'all have a great day. We'll see you all later.